How's it going and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be working on a Samsung ductless split system. I was out there last week and I found the condenser coil to be leaking, so I ordered that coil. We've got it now, so we're gonna go ahead and get that repaired and get it started up. Let's do some work. This video is brought to you by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. And by RLS, original, patented, proven. All right, so here is the Samsung condenser we're working with here and here's the new coil nice micro channel so we're going to get this uh, old one removed it should be completely already out of refrigerant so we can go ahead and just unbraze that uh, coil get the new one in We've got three screws, one here, one right there, and then there's another one down there in order to remove the coil, which obviously you can tell they're hard to get to. So I wanna use this little Klein ratchet tool. Um, it's got 5 16 on this side and quarter inch on this side. And then we just put a normal little bit in here to get in there and it is ratcheting. So that should make this for an easy uh, job, but we'll see. All right, so what I like to do is actually cut the lines off first. That way I know 100% sure that there's no trapped refrigerant in there, you know, because the only spot that I can hook up here is on the outside. And even though it's showing no pressure, I don't want to try to unbraze that and then there'll still be some pressure in there. So I'm gonna cut it really close to the actual coil on both sides. That way I know, and then I'll unbraze these small fittings and get it prepped for the new coil. Sweet. All right, so I'm gonna start off with unbrazing this fitting down here and there's a sensor right on the pipe. So you wanna make sure you remove that before you heat that up because you can damage the sensor. All right, so the pressure test has been going for about 10, 12 minutes, and it is holding. So we're good to go ahead and fully reassemble the system, get this sucker on a vacuum.
All right, so on this Samsung unit, the Schrader access point there is uh, 5 16 So one thing I love about the, uh, the Navac Schrader core tool is for, for pulling vacuums or recovering whatever, uh, it comes with a standard quarter inch like you see here, but then it also comes with the adapter to screw into there and then it gives you the 5 16 so that way I can uh, use one tool for either sizes. So the decay test went well. Um, so as you can see here, 75 foot line set, total 48 ounces. That's total charge, condenser, everything. Um, I, I wrote that down years ago whenever I installed this. Thankfully, makes my life a whole lot easier. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and break the vacuum with 48 ounces of some fresh 410. Right on the money. All right, so since I weighed in the charge, I don't want to hook up a set of uh, hoses with a manifold just to check the operation of the system because it should be perfectly charged. So what I'm gonna do is use my probes instead. And what I like to use are these quarter pressers. So I've got one for 5 16 and I also have one for quarter inch. So obviously today we're dealing with 5 16 so you hook that up to the system and then this is a standard quarter inch fitting for the probe uh, and that way you can basically twist this in to um, pressing the core it's a really nice uh, low loss fitting basically um, and then we'll just check the pipe temperature and just uh, you know check the system make sure it's in, in good shape So one thing to keep in mind when you're using a core depressor, whenever you have everything hooked up, you want to just screw it in just a little bit. And typically you want to be using your phone and um, checking the pressure once you um, basically turn it in just a little bit because you can over screw it in and it can damage that core. So you just want to do it just a little bit, not all the way. All right, so the system is now started up and it's looking really good. I'm happy with the pressures and the super heat. So that's gonna complete today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you got something out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you guys later.